Hello, welcome back. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this next video is on uh, measures of location. Uh, specifically, in this exercise, we're just going to focus on mean, median, and mode. Uh, three different measures of location, sometimes referred to as measures of central location or measures of central tendency. Um, both, or sorry, all three of them uh, measure slightly different. Uh, characteristic of a data set uh, and go about it in a slightly different way. A mean, for example, is calculating a, an average or sort of a typical observation uh, within that data set with the exception that a mean is very much influenced by the relative magnitude of individual observations. So if you have a, a sample of a, a data set that is full of ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and then there's one observation that is 10,000. You know, that 10,000 value, that's going to sway your mean, that'll pull your mean. So it, it has an impact, um, or the, this, the magnitude of observations has an impact on the mean. As opposed to a median, which is quite literally the, the very middle of a data set. Uh, it doesn't matter what the value of observations are. The median is just that value for which you know, half of your observations are greater, half of your observations are smaller. So it's just right in the middle. And the mode, this is the observation that occurs with the highest frequency, or the observation that occur occurs uh, the most within your data set. So in this exercise here, we're just going to calculate for both, um, both these variables, city and highway miles per gallon, we'll calculate uh, each of those different measures, oops, those different measures of, of location. So let's start off with city. <coughs> the first thing that I'm going to do, because I'm calculating mean and mode, as well as the, the uh, sorry, median and mode, as well as the mean, is I'm going to sort the data from largest to smallest value. Uh, this isn't necessary for, ca for doing the mean. Uh, as the mean, you're just adding everything up and dividing by the number of observations that you have. But for the median and the mode, having the data sorted uh, makes it much easier to identify those values. So let me show you what I mean. If I start with the city, uh, city miles per gallon. So let's see, my smallest value here is an 11. Uh, 11, next is 15, next is 18, I have two 19s, 21, 22, 24, and then last uh, two 28s. So there I've got my data now sorted. So let's first find the mode. So what is the observation that occurs with the most frequency? Well, here I have two 28s, and I have, oh, I missed one. I think I had two 19s, didn't I? There's a 19 and there's a 19. So let me squeeze in my mistake. Let me squeeze in this 19. So here's a 19, and I'll put that 18 back. So I had two 19s and two 28s in that data set. There isn't an observation that occurs more than twice, so two is my highest frequency, and I have two observations that occur twice. So this data set is actually what we would call bimodal. So it has two modes. There's two values that both occur at the same highest frequency. So there's bimodal. Now, having the data sorted from smallest to largest makes the mode easier to see because identical observations are now grouped together. So it's a little bit easier to spot them, especially if I have a larger data set. Let me fix another typo here. What's happening with my eraser? So this is bimodal. So now we can identify uh, our median. So the median is the value that's just right in the middle of our data set. So an easy way to do this is just to start off by eliminating the largest and the smallest observations and doing this until you find yourself in the middle. Now in this case I have two observations that remain. I'm not going to I'm not going to cross those two out because then I'm left with nothing and what can I do with that? Nothing much. So 
if an, I have an even number of observations as I have here, then I'll always narrow this down to two. If I have an, a, an odd number of observations, I'll be able to narrow it down to one. And if so, that last one remaining value is my median value. In this case, I have these two. My median is then going to be right in the middle of those two. So here I can see quite clearly my median is going to be 20, the middle of 19 and 21. So there's my median. Okay, so again, having the data sorted from largest or smallest to largest uh, makes identifying that median uh, significantly easier to do. For the mode, uh, sorry, for the mean, now uh, it doesn't matter to have it sorted because now I'm just going to add everything together. So this is going to be 11 plus 15 plus 19, oh, plus 18, plus 19 twice, plus 21, plus 22, plus 24, and 28, and 28. So I'm adding together all of my observations and I divide by the number of observations, which in this case is 10. So now if I bring up my calculator, clear this, I have 11 plus 15 plus 18 plus 19 plus 19, 21, 22, 24, and 28 twice. And divide that by 10. So I have an average uh, here of 20.5. So my average miles per gallon in the city uh, is 20.5. So let me just scribble in my answers here. There's my mean was 20.5. My median was 20. And our modes, we had two, one at 19 and one at 28. Okay, so there we have three different measures of location uh, for this data set. The, the precise middle, the median, that splits that data set in half. Uh, the mean, which is an average value within that data set. And the mode, which identifies those observations that occur with the highest frequency. Now let's clean this up and let's quickly then go through same calculations for the highway miles per gallon. So this exercise now will do the same thing but using this uh, variable, this data. So let me first just sort this, oops, sort this by uh, from smallest to largest. So let's see, here we start at 18. 18, my next value is going to be 24, I think, 24, 25, 26. Oh, I'm putting, I don't need to add these yet. 26, 28, 29, 30, 32, and 36 and 38. Okay, so there we have our data set sorted. Let's find our mode, which observation occurs with the highest frequency. I go through here and I don't see any. There's no observation that repeats more than any other. None of them repeat, in fact. So in this case, uh, for mode, I'll say not applicable. There is no mode. There is no observation that occurs uh, with a higher frequency than any other. Now if we find the median, here I'm going to do the same exercise. Erase smallest and largest observations as we isolate those two in the middle. So here I want to find what's the middle between 28 and 29. I know that's going to be 28.5. If the long way to do this is to add these together, 28 plus 29 divided by two, and that will give us the middle. So I have a median of 28.5. 
and the mean. Now the mean, I add all of these together and multiply by 10, the number of observations in this data, in this data set. So let's do that. 18 plus 24 plus 25, 26, 28, 29, 30, 32, 36, and finally 38. Divide that by 10, and 28.6 is my mean. 28.6. So quite clearly, on the highway, I get an average of 28.6 miles per gallon. On the, in the city, I get an average of 20.5 miles per gallon. Much better fuel efficiency in highway driving. So there you have it. We have our mean, median, and mode uh, for these two variables, these two sets uh, of, of observations. Um, all measures of, of central location. Uh, hopefully this exercise has um, facilitated uh, having to calculate these and locate these uh, for yourself with any data set that you may encounter. Okay, thank you very much for watching.